Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of my Don't Starve Let's Play. So in the last episode, it was all about, you know, winter ending, and somehow we miraculously survived. I honestly just don't even know how I did it. <laughs> I think I lucked out, but we were building up our food, and I had some plans here, what I wanted to do. Oh god, of course it's already night. Oh man, I'm hurt. I don't really remember where I left off. It's been a few days here, but what I want to do is, I know I can make roads here. What I was planning on doing is making uh, cobblestone roads, you know, up to here so I can kind of get to and from my base really quick. Uh, there was also the pig hut somewhere, right, right here I believe. I need to find more pig huts. Uh, I want to find some pig villages, a pig king. I want to start farming pigs because one, food, they respawn after a while. You can make a pig village if you make your own pig huts through the structures tab. See if I can find it down here. There, pig house. So you have to kill pigs and break their huts to get the pig hides there. Rocks and boards, obviously, I can get myself. Rabbit hutch, that's for bunny men? A bird cage. Aha, this is something else I really wanted. Requires papyrus, so I need to get reeds from the swamp over to my left. And what that does is I can feed it, like, monster meat. Like, meat I generally can't use myself. So, like, monster meat, obviously, it's not good for me. And they'll drop out, they'll, they'll poop out eggs, basically. I don't know if you want to call it pooping out eggs, but that's what they do. And what I can do with those eggs, of course, is I can make food, I can cook them, I can, you know, I can basically turn monster meat into a usable source of food. So, let's see what's going on here. Do I have a log suit? I do. Sorry, it's been a little bit, a little bit since I've played last, so I'm trying to remember what was all going on. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and chop some trees down, and I'm just going to cut these trees down, and whenever it's daylight, I think what I'm first going to do is I'm going to make a pitchfork because I need that for my roads. And what I mean is... I have to dig up rocky turfs or like stone turfs or something like that and I combine that with boards and what that'll let me do is that'll let me make cobblestone roads and I can use those roads basically to travel faster and I can place them anywhere I want so you know you know how I like walk on the roads up north when I want to go faster I can have those wherever I want so I can make my own paths which is pretty darn cool I'm gonna do this here before it gets night and yeah, that way you can see why I chop these trees down. But yeah, I want to do that. I want to get some food going. I want to get some drying racks. I mean, really, I want to be prepared for the winter so food isn't even a concern. Because last winter was a lot of me running around like a chicken with my head cut off. And of course, I mean, that's to be expected. It was my, my first winter in the game. <laughs> first time ever touching the game, so didn't expect to be doing super amazing. And let's see if my fire reaches over here. It does a little bit, but it's getting a little bit dark for my taste. So I don't think you're going to be able to see me here, so what I'm going to do is just put another log or two, actually. Not like I'm not going to chop all these trees down and get a crap ton of logs anyway. And of course, since it's summer again, my berry bushes are going to start producing. I looked up a bunch of crock pot recipes, like the uh, the fish sticks I was talking about for healing. I can go get fish. I can buy that with, like, sticks or berries or even some of the mushrooms. And then get fish sticks. Fish sticks, I believe, heal me 40 health, which is pff, a lot. Something else I want to do is maybe make a meat effigy. I have a touchstone, and what that does is, if I die, I will respawn there. I will lose my item, like my items. I can go find them, of course, but I'll lose those. I'll have to go back to my dead body. A meat effigy is basically another touchstone that I can create and place anywhere I want, so I can die and respawn. So it's kind of like, you know, a safety precaution. It does deduct from your max health, I believe, but that's a, you know, a, a thing I'm willing to take for another life. Like, basically a whole second chance. So let's go ahead and open these chests. I mean, I have a, I have a butt ton of logs, I'll be honest with you. But you can never have too many logs, especially when you're trying to make a fire and <laughs> you just don't have the stuff you need. And my torches, or I'm sorry, my uh, my spear is a little bit low here. Do I have another one? I thought I did. Maybe I turned it into an ice staff. No, I have a spear. I'm going to bring this with us. I'm also going to make the pitchfork before I get out of here. We need to go to the science machine because I've never actually made one before. And I'm just going to prototype that. I keep zooming out because I'm used to scrolling. But anyway, let's go up north. Uh, where is the rocky turf? I know there's something like right here. Um, we could also go get the pig huts. There's a, there's a lot of things basically we could be doing. I think I'm actually going to make a hammer as well. Because that'll be used to break down the pig hut. And I need rope and rocks. Probably should do this you know, during the night here. One of these chests has a bunch of everything I need. Uh, ropes. I should be able to refine. And I want to also get some improved farms going. Improved farms will be really handy. I mean, this is poopy. I might even break this down. In fact, can I do it? I'm just going to get rid of this. Because
because we're going to replace it with a, a better farm later. Really should have, you know, managed my inventory last night, uh, now that I think about it. Let's go to put the poop in here. Because we're wasting daylight at this point. Uh, put these logs in here. Can I control? Don't need that many on me. Uh, rocks. I'm just going just gonna to start putting things away. I don't care. Uh, quit my spear. Let's just go. Chester, you got space. You've got space. <laughs> so, for this day, I'm going to go up, and I think I'm probably going to go to the pig hut first until I find a really big rocky area. I can't remember if this was, like, rocky. Like, this up here is dirt. It's not the rock. Like, there's, I think there's a little patch of the rocky stuff. It's like the gray, the gray background. Remember, we also need papyrus. There's a lot of things I want to get here before the next winter to really get prepared. I'm going to go ahead and I like to put my tools over here. And of course, we're going to have to worry about food and ugh, so much stuff. And in the swamp here, I do want papyrus. I told you that already. But in the swamp here, we can have tentacle spikes spawn. And those, like, they're like tentacles, but they drop the tentacle spike. And it's basically a better spear. So that's like a free better spear. I think I am hearing hounds. I think I am hearing hounds. Yes, I am. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and probably use the beefalo here to our advantage when the hounds come. And there is this spooky, or I'm sorry, the living tree here. I can cut that down. No problem. That doesn't cause me any problems. I was worried about that before, but I, I looked it up. You know, it's okay to, you know, chop it. It's not going to, like, eat me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my log suit on here very shortly and run around. Have these guys kill for me. Uh, Chester... Let's just store some stuff in you. You already have honey on you. Honey lasts quite a while. That's nice. Uh, I could burn that thing down. I could burn a lot of forest down, but I could burn that nest down. I'm just waiting for the, uh, the hounds here. There they are. Let's go ahead and equip my uh, suit there. And basically, I'm going to try and let the beefalo attack them. It gets annoying whenever you have two at once. Uh, kill this. I'm just going to tank them. Screw it. I have jerky. And I think the towns are getting tougher. Oh, hey, look, the pig's fighting a tentacle up there. Looks like the hounds got tougher. I think they do get tougher over time, but they definitely felt like they were hitting a little bit harder. Or taking more damage. Two. Maybe I can only hit it once. Oh my god, that thing is just beating the crap out of me. Okay, there we go. I got a tentacle spike. Yes! And right here is meat. This is the meat I want. Because this meat's better for recipes and stuff. It, it killed the pig. You can only get it from, like, certain monsters. Okay. So, I'm just going to put that in my backpack. Get that in my inventory. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and heal up a little bit. So we can hang this and basically get a lot more healing out of it than our, our small, small morsels. And in the meantime, since the pig's dead, these pigs have pretty fancy houses. Yeah, hey, look, a pig spawned. We could kill him. We could also befriend him. Let's do that. Uh, I took my backpack off. I eat food. Yeah, he, oh no, he ate the pig hide, you bastard. No, I, I wanted to give it to him. Don't eat it, you doof. I love friend. Okay, so he'll be my friend now. He'll actually follow me around and kind of fight for me. And I'm just going to drop this. That's just take my inventory space. I'm going to clip the tentacle spike. Now he'll actually go fight those, those spiders and stuff for me. I'm going to take advantage of the beefalo in the spider situation. See if I can't take out that nest. Now, I am using the tentacle spike, so I'm doing more damage, basically. And let's not die. Looks like the pig died. I could just burn that nest down. Come on. You jump at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting hurt. Let's not die. Okay, you know what? I don't think I want to do this. <laughs> Probably not a smart idea to go fight all this stuff our first day back to the game sometime. Uh, look at my health. Yeah, like I said, I suck. I really haven't figured out combat in this game. And, uh, <laughs> it's really all about patterns. I get I get greedy, I think. I do want to go home and hang the uh, meat here. This will heal me a lot. Now that I know the food recipes, like I can go fishing here. And I'm probably going to do that here shortly because I am way hurt. I did get pig skin. I did get uh, some boards and some stone. That's what I want. I need more pig skin though. I think I need a bunch here for the pig huts. Ugh. I'm sucking pretty hard. 
go ahead and just eat this stuff, you know, to heal up. And what I'll do is dry. And that'll that'll heal me, I think, 20 or 40? I think 20. I think the, the, the jerky I'm eating heals me 6. So, 16. Uh, it's, oh, it's 8. Okay, I think that those heal me 20. So the bigger meat's obviously better. It's just it's hard to obtain. And... Go ahead and just drop that. Put some logs on the fire. My berry bushes are doing their thing. And I need to... You know, I might, I might, I might put that monster meat on the drying rack. Because you can still feed it to the pigs and stuff. Chester, do you have poop on you, buddy? I think you have some poop. Not enough poop. I have poop in a chest. Let's take the monster meat. Let's start hanging the meat here. Also, the no, don't eat it. Okay. The the, the bigger the meat, it'll actually take longer to dry. Uh, let's go ahead and put one. No, 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 no! Stop eating the fucking monster meat. <laughs> oh, I always do that. Okay. Um, where do I have my hound teeth? I think one of these chests. Okay, and then I think the pigskin's also in here. Let's go ahead and fertilize my berries. Oh my god, my health situation went from bad to worse. Like, here I thought I looked up some things and I could do better. I guess no matter research is going to make up for me sucking. <laughs> Let's cook the berries. We'll have a good food situation. I did break one pig hut, but I didn't get the pigskin I needed. I know I found another one up... I found another pig hut somewhere. I think right there. There's, oh, there's a couple up here, so that might be a good spot to go to. I think what I'm going to do is just s screw the initial plans. I need to heal. And there's a, a recipe it's called honey ham I can make. It's uh, honey. I can use I can use two morsels, so like little rabbits and monster meat. And as long as it's raw, which I think I do have one. Do I? Maybe I can use... Oh, I can use a berry, I think. Let me check, let me check my chest. What do I got? Okay, screw it. We'll do the fish then. They're easy because you can use you can use fish and like uh, mushrooms. Uh, let's also cook this berry. Uh, I didn't cook the berry. This this uh, right here needs poop on it. I'm a little bit flustered right now, guys. Sorry, I got to get back into the groove of things. Okay, and I need to let's just equip that for sanity's sake. Uh, pine cones. I didn't plant my pine cones over here, did I? Do that here. Once the uh, the meat we got from that pig really dries up, uh, that'll be great. That'll that'll heal us a lot. But for now, we're not doing too hot. And I gotta remember how to make a fishing rod. I think it's silk. Basically, there's a lot, there's a lot of things I really want to make, and we don't need these boards on us. There's zero point in carrying that around. Chester, what's your uh, inventory looking like, buddy? Honey, 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 honey. What can I do with honey? You know, to eat it. How much does that heal me? Twenty-three. It's three. You know what? We have bees. I'm just gonna eat it because I am extremely low in health and I don't like being where I am health-wise. Uh, I think I can refine this in a papyrus already. Papyrus. Oh, of course I need four. I have paper in here. Noink. Blah blah blah. Still need to go to this pig hut. Still need to worry about my health. My food situation's okay for exploring, explorer's sake. This needs to dry. Okay. Before I get lost again, distracted, if you will. Science. Food. Where would a fishing rod be? Survival. Okay. Uh, umbrella, fishing rod, sticks, and silk. I have silk somewhere. I really need to sit down one day and organize this stuff. <laughs> oh, there's silk. I think I need it too. So, control. Whatever. I'm trying to split the stack there. And let's go to survival. I don't have any twigs? Oh, well, that's depressing. This is why it's summer and all these things have grown. And I'm going to harvest the crap out of them. Uh, I gotta worry about my health again. I gotta get my food going. Once I get the fishing rod and I go get a few fish, I think we'll be good. Because if this is going to heal me 40 each, it's going to be fantastic. I can use one fish, one stick, and two berries. And obviously my berry situation is fantastic. 
my stick, my stick situation, blah 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 blah. <laughs> my stick situation is obviously good as well. I mean, I have saplings everywhere, so twigs, we're good there. The inventory space is poop. Like, I, I have such bad inventory management skills. Like, I don't need this spear. Like, I'm probably gonna go get rid of it. I'll, I'll just keep using my tentacle spike for now. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the grass again while I can, because you remember what happened in the winter and how rare this stuff was. Like, insanely rare. I need to get a lightning rod over here. I said that before. Uh, let's go ahead and make our fishing rod here before we forget. And on that note, one of these chests needs to have a spot in it. We will put the spear away. No point in carrying that. Hammer. We got so many tools. That's what's killing us. Now let's go fish. Actually, let me put the cutstone away. Okay, good. Oh god, the, the lightning. The lightning strikes will probably kill me. Pick up. I can let that rot. I don't care about that. Oh, I never cooked that. Let's cook it before it goes bad. Um, is there a pond that isn't in the swamp? I think there is. There's a few up here. I don't, I don't want to go stand while fishing in the rain with my health the way it is, but I think I'm going to. If I die, I do still have that one touchstone. I obviously don't want to die, so I'm going to eat a lot here. I also want to check our rabbits for morsels. Because jerky. Okay. Of course, since it's summer again, resources will naturally be spawning, which is amazing. I'm going to keep a weapon equipped, just in case. Oh my god, there's like so much I need to be doing. There's so much to do, like before winter comes, like... Ugh. I'm surprised none of these traps have, you know, done their thing. You can actually bait the traps, like put berries in them, and the rabbits will just kind of go to them. Or you can, you know, just let them, you know, sit, and over time you'll get rabbits. So, you don't have to waste your resources, essentially. But if you're desperate for food, you can do it that way. I could always store up bunnies, because they don't, they don't die. Like, if, if you leave these bunnies in a chest, they will live in the chest forever. It's pretty funny. Okay, I never fished before. Looks like you have to wait for, like, a context clue there. Come on. It's a double click. Cool. Let's get a few of these fish. And it stopped raining, so that's fantastic. I'm getting enough here to have some health, because this is... My health situation is just terrible. Come on. Maybe, maybe it gets depleted. Nope. I don't, know how, I don't know how fishing works. I've never fished before in the game, of course. I realize it's getting a little bit dark here, but I might just sit here and fish throughout the night. And again, my fishing rod's not lasting very long, so I probably won't do that. Okay, that's good. I think I'm just going to break my fishing rod here. And then we'll go back and uh, check our rabbit traps there. Head home, make some fish sticks, and heal up, because my health is terrible. I really need to figure out combat. Like, I know they attack once to the hounds, and then you can attack them twice. But the thing is, when there's two of them, then you get attacked. <laughs> of course, I could just use the beefalo, but you know, I obviously have to get better myself. Come on, we're wasting daylight, quite literally. Come on. Ah, I, the context clue changed because of that damn bird, and I thought it said hook. My bad. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Looks like, look, look at the uh, daylight meter up there. We're getting a lot more daylight back. It's kind of like the start of summer. Come on. Don't tell me I depleted it. Maybe I can deplete them. Nope. As soon as I say that, I jinx it. Have a few more uses out of this. I'm gonna get all the fish I can because if each fish stick heals me 40, <laughs> um, I am going to take that. I'm going to absolutely love that, and that bird's gonna get that seed because I am not un I am not stopping my fishing action. Come on, it's gonna be night here, and I'm gonna have to make a campfire, make a poopy little campfire. It only has to last us the night here. 
I do have my torches, of course. And we're at 22%. So we'll see how many fish. I think we'll probably get like 10 fish per fishing rod. I haven't even been watching the percentages. That's just a random guess. But that's enough. That works. Looks like they spoil pretty quick. Come on. Come on. Okay. And we are at 11%. And I'm going to head straight home after this. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm not. I'm going to go to my rabbits after this. And then we're going home. Checking our jerky racks and all that good stuff. Come on. Fishing rod. One fish in an entire night, basically. It's pretty slow. You can't even fish in the winter. Remember, the uh, the ponds were frozen over. Unless, of course, like you can melt it with your fire. Never tried. Okay. And we're out. Okay, so let's go home. Check our rabbit traps, of course. I really need to start looting things. There's so much to do. <laughs> Especially if you get hurt like this, because then you got to worry about yourself rather than your supply. Ugh. I'm going to eat those before they go stale. The rabbit traps aren't really, uh... aren't really producing like they used to. What's going on there? Interesting. You see how slow we're going? I mean, if I had those roads, we'd be going a lot faster. Charcoal. Forgot about that. Get on the road! And this road doesn't last very long. <laughs> See, I mean, whenever we have man-made roads, it'll be a lot better. Oh my god, that thing sprouted. I still really don't know what I'm doing with that. Like, if I should just go kill it or not. Uh, let's take the uh, monster jerky. You still don't want to eat this stuff. But I can. It'll last a lot longer, and I'll be able to feed it to, like, pigs and things. I got a chest with monster jerky in it. Does Chester have it? Chester has it. There you go. I'm just gonna eat these petals. No, oh, I'm no, I'm not. They're hurting my sanity. <laughs> Let's just let them spoil. Free rot. Okay. Now the fish. Let me get the berries because we need berries for this recipe. Watch a uh, turkey will come by and eat everything. That's how it usually goes. And we're gonna need uh, two berries to each fish. So, I mean, it's a good thing we have all these berries. I'm going to, of course, take my uh, ratatouille here. Let me check. I always forget. 41. It's only 3. So it's good for hunger, but it's not good if you're looking to heal. I'm going to get the berry bushes first. Oh my god, there's so much to do, so much to harvest. <laughs> oh, this game, there's, there's just not a shortage of things to do. Like, you are busy. I say that all the time, too. I need to get more bee boxes because honey's good. Honey's good for healing. Honey's good for some recipes. Okay, so that's some berries. That's a lot of berries. That's good. And what we need is a stick, a fish, a stick, and two berries. That's the recipe. And let me harvest the bee box. Oh, shit. I didn't know they got mad at you. <laughs> that's the perfect time to get them mad at me. Look at my health. Maybe we'll de aggro. I didn't know that. Maybe you have to wear the beekeeper's hat. Maybe that's what it's for. Doesn't look like they're mad at me anymore. Cool. Okay, so one fish, one stick, two berries, cook. So that should be fish sticks. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna harvest my grass. Oh my god, I gotta keep up with the harvesting and <laughs> then you gotta think that after I harvest these three or four times, they need manure. So you have to keep up with, like, rot or fertilizer. If I had a pig village nearby, like, not so close that if they turned into were pigs, they would kill me, but close enough that I could feed them, like, junk food and get manure. That'd be awesome. How's twigs doing? I'm just going to keep harvesting these because I don't want to have a shortage of them. I didn't have any in my inventory. It's bad. I keep saying it, but I need to get a lightning rod over here. And oh, there's also a recipe with the uh, the butterflies. You can you can make like a butter muffin, I think. So it's like a butterfly wing, a mushroom, and like two twigs, or maybe a butterfly uh, butterfly wing, a carrot, and some berries, or something like that. And you get a butter muffin, and it heals you, I believe, twenty. So it's like a, it's another good healing item, healing food. I think our uh, fish sticks were probably done by now. 
Wow, that fish is really rotten quick. Oh, look at the fish sticks. Fish sticks. One, two. Wow, we're probably won't even be able to cook them quick enough here. I mean, we're, they're rotten really quick. But let's let's test it. 24? 64. My god. So good. That is awesome. That is fan-freaking-tastic. I'm just going to stay home, and that has still not dried. Okay. And of course, let's not waste our night away. Chop some trees here. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. 40 health. 40 health, man. Uh, where's my shovel? I think, that actually, I think that actually broke. Oh wait, no, I made another one, okay. I'm gonna go check the crock pot here, because these are expiring way too quick. I gotta hurry up and make my fish sticks. I might even need to make another crock pot. Let me just check there, yep. And... Fish sticks, double berry, Doink. boom. Fish sticks, 64 health, 104 health. Eat like one more of those, then we'll start making fish sticks because they last a lot longer than these raw fish. That's probably why they expire so quick, because the items they make are so darn good. Let's go up here and pick up our roots or our stumps. And I'll replant my saplings. I still didn't get around to making my roads or anything, but I did get a lot of healing and I made the fish sticks I've been needing. Someone's gonna make a fish stick reference from South Park and the whole gay fish thing, I just know it. <laughs> oh man. Fish sticks again. They are. I wonder if I'll be able to use them if they like slightly spoil. Go, 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 where's the stick? Cook. Okay. I need to make more chests. I'm gonna murder the rabbit. I'm gonna put it on the drying rack. And hey, look, the uh, drying rack here is done. So this would be like real jerky, like big pieces, and this should heal me a shit ton. So I'm actually gonna put the honey, because honey seems to last quite a while. Put it in here. I know there's things I can do with these box things and rig things. That's that's like adventure mode and stuff. I looked that up. I'm not ready for that. Chester, how are you? Your inventory, monster jerky, stinger. I have a spot for these, don't I? There we go. It's gonna be night here in a second. So let's go ahead and do this. And we'll do more fish sticks because fish are actually about to spoil. It's a race against time. I don't think we're gonna get to use them all. Oh man. I'm glad I looked up the fish stick recipe. These last, I think, 15 days before they turn into rot? I'm not 100% sure. I mean, th this is where if I had an ice box, I would be set. I actually have the max stack of grass in my inventory, which is really good. You know what I'm about to do? I'm about to make a crap ton of boards. And make some chests. I think it's three for one chest. I need more? Okay. I've got plenty of logs. <laughs> Structures. No, 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 not hay wall. You bastard. No. <laughs> no. Accidental hay wall. Okay, whatever. This will do nothing. Building walls is a little bit awkward. There you go. I don't want to make hay walls because they'll just burn. Fish sticks. Get them in there. One, two. And another twig. Right now I'm just trying to get my food situation set. Okay, so this petal's turned into rot. Expected that. Uh, structures. Let's go ahead and make a chest. Structures again. Yep, it's three to, three to one. Okay. What I'll do is I'll actually make like a resource chest. Like, these are all logs in here. I'll start putting some extra grass in here. So let's put that stack. Cut, split the stack of twigs. And that way I can... Because th those won't expire. I can store those up for the winter. Well, I'm going to wrap it up here. This was episode 11 of my Don't Starve Let's Play. Fish sticks, man. Full health again. We were 
we got our butts kicked by uh, spiders and <laughs> hounds and stuff. I wasn't expecting those, and I still need to figure out combat. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.